Alright, so here again, I'm not going to play first. And this is a reasonable hand. Not spectacular, but I have some options. Shadow Mage Infiltrator is good, but not great in this matchup where he's already got lots of black creatures. But we'll give this a shot. And see where it goes. So it leads off with the swamp. Hopefully not an Inquisition or something like that. Zurin Orb. Fair enough. Well, at least we have all the mana we need, so we can start. We can stop drawing mana for a while. That'd be nice. No more drawing lands. And let's see what he's got to play. Alonus Prowler. All right. Let's do that. And pass. I guess next turn, instead of playing the Shadow Mage Infiltrator, go ahead and play Skirk Marauder. I don't know. See, it depends what he plays here. Hmm, yes. So take three off the Prowler and then pass. Then again, this seems like a good play. That was a lucky draw. All right, pass again. Hello. What? <laughs> For the record, if you send me a message, it's easier just to say what you would like to mention to me. The way I can respond to it. Efficiently. Alright, so let's go ahead and play... Let's not tap out the mountain. Just so we can tease him into thinking we have a lightning bolt or a fire bolt or what have you. And play the Shadow Mage Infiltrator instead. Alright, so let's see what he's got in response to that. So he's thinking he might be mana screwed here, which is why he's not playing anything. And that's good news. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and attack and draw a card. Good, good. So, Acropolis, and let's tap out for a morphed Skirt Marauder. And then pass the turn. So you got one, two, three, four, five mana so far. And we're able to kill basically anything he plays. For the, well, any creature he plays with Consuming Vapors or Skirk Marauder between them. Alright, no play for him. Let's go ahead and attack him with everything. And draw another card, I guess. Because he stops the attack somehow. Uh, he looks like he's never seen a morphed creature before. It's a bit old, it hasn't been seen since Onslaught. Alright, let's go ahead and drop a 
another land, and pass again. Maybe we'll get a chance to play Nicole Bolas. That would be exciting. Two more turns. And we'll have our shot. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Okay. Not going to do anything in this game whatsoever. I definitely boarded out, well, I boarded out the big Sundering Titan. One thing, the only artifact target really left is the uh, Steel Hellkite or the Sensei's top, but that's not really a good target for that anyway because I can just bounce it to my hand each time. Or bounce it to the top of my library, that is. Alright, so let's drop that and pass again. So next turn, Nicole Bolas. That'll be fun. I'll definitely be killing his seaside citadel. And probably dropping the bulls will make him just concede the game straight out. But if he lets us keep playing, that'll be fun. Alright, so let's go ahead and attack again. Draw us a card. And then Nicole Bolas, so... Now it's just tapping out everything else from there. And there's Nicole Bolas, so he might just concede this game. I very much doubt he'll let this thing keep going on. Or perhaps he will. The Seaside Citadel is gone. So the next step will be to kill his Zurin orb. If he's still playing at that point. So he taps four face betters. Okay. That doesn't really do much. Um, one thing I can do is just destroy the face fetters and keep attacking, but I think I'd rather just go ahead and kill the Zirin orb. Um, but I guess first, let's go ahead and blight me. Cause him to drop a few of those cards that are probably, that are obviously all non-lands. Unplayable, obviously. And then I'll go ahead and bomb his Zerin orb. And attack him for two with Skirk. And then I can always ultimate with the Nicole Bolas next turn, which will be exciting. Assuming he's still in the game by then. Alright, so get in for two. He's at nine. Destroy the Zern orb. I doubt he'll activate the effect. And then pass. Anything he plays here really is going to die. Alright, 
Phyrexian Revoker comes in. Tries to stop the bullets. That's not gonna happen. Um, here might as well flip the skirt just to give him a taste of what's inside. Alright, so let's go ahead and attack him with the Skirk Marauder. And then Ultimate for the win. And that should be game. Um, yeah, really not fair that he got mana screwed and I ended up with all this stuff. But, uh, that's part of the game. That's the way I, that's the way I felt last game. So, I guess it's gonna go ahead and go through all the motions before he can see, which I think is a good thing, because I always love to see Nicole Bolts' effect go off. So I win against the guy with an empty board. Alright, you just select all your lands, that's how you do it. Okay, and that's the game. So we've got game three, it's going to be the decider. So let's take a look at the deck again and look if we have any more subpar cards. Uh, let's see. Don't really want Psychotog. Wildfire seems a bit loose. I don't want to sacrifice that many lands. Uh, distress, no, thank you. Nether Void. Whenever a player casts a spell, counter it unless its controller pays three. I'm not that into that card. I imagine I'll probably have more mana trouble than he will. I'm no reason my mana trouble will be even worse. So, uh, I think we'll just go ahead and keep the same build now.